hey, I decided to iterate on what I've already done on the Figma to better suit the way the guy is doing the tutorial because I find it very interesting and I may want to use it for my project. As a reminder, he's building a mirror clone and is using a functionality of Clerk that I was not aware of. It is called organizations and it's a way to add, to make a group of people uh, and to let your users create their group so that's a shared workspace to add their emails and it's all handled by clerk so that would mean that i would not have to do anything for it to be able to be ready for authentication so that's wonderful but because the guy is showing things he doesn't have battery left because the guy is showing things in a certain way i want to follow the tutorial because i think it's the right way to do it it's very optimized and all so i was working on a new way to make my app that would be more optimized for this new workflow and I think I like it better. It's somewhat more complicated but I think I'm going all in so I'm now building the best inventory list app that exists, period. I've benchmarked a lot of things that exist. Nothing is going to be as good as this, okay? And it will do one thing and one thing greatly that will be manage a list of things as an inventory. Let me show you. I hope you can hear me well. So here is what I'm planning to do. This is the home page, the dashboard page. You may know that I'm using paper because ideas flow more quickly on paper for my way of doing things. So this is the interface on desktop. This is the mobile interface. So you scroll in here. Here is everything, every list, and you may scroll also. You have the list of spaces here. You can have your user profile here and manage your organization here. An organization is the name it has been given in clerk. I will not use that term. I will use the term space. So when you click on something, it gives you this interface on desktop. It's uh, something different on mobile. I call it this all-in-one interface that will show the omni view that can add things just like I had on the Figma, like that. So this is the only omni view thing. You will have the list of already added things here and you will have the detail of a thing and you may want to click on mo to modify things. So it's everything on the same page. Here you have the power mode interface on mobile and this is basically a power mode thing. What does that mean? It means that when you are arriving on the page of a list you have already the list of things here because that's the one thing you want to view when you arrive here and when you click on something it sh shows it to you here. You can have the different elements here also but if you click on add thing it will open the keyboard of your iPhone and also here a very important stuff is a model that will have only one field that you can fill you can go to the next or skip everything and uh, add or just close you can have the access of every field possible here so that will be very very efficient on your phone so that's it and here when you will want to modify something it will give you the same interface so that's i think the best way of adding stuff quickly and being very productive we've seen we've seen on the benchmark apps at the beginning of this series of videos that it wasn't very good. Uh, every existing app wasn't very good at handling user interactions when adding stuff, which is one of the most used things. Uh, I don't know what, why it's not done correctly. I also thought of uh, key value propositions here. You may have why it's great. Okay, uh, ultra optimized UX. We've seen that everything is very optimized, but that's not all. A generous free tier. I hate it when companies like I don't know Typeform charge users really a lot of money for nothing. Basically, hundred submission is nothing. And I love the way Tally does things, where it is very generous on the free tier, but. Because we want to pay for servers, I will have to implement some kind of billing, but it will wait. If it's already working, it would be great. The next things are autocomplete and uh, collaboration in real time. 
you may say why not use Notion? Like that's a valid question. Notion is great, but it's complicated. It doesn't do one thing great. It does a lot of things, but to get to an efficient wor workflow, you often need to spend hours on it. Yeah, I don't like the way that it works on Notion because you spend more time optimizing the workflow than doing things. And with that, it's already done for you. It's already optimized and it does one thing. And that's the main thing. I think it needs to do one thing great instead of doing so much things. This is a very important thing I just designed. It's a common palette that gives you ability to do things quickly in the app. Like from anywhere, you can open it with a shortcut on your keyboard and you can choose auto, it auto completes things for you. And you can choose like add note in current workflow workspace in list last list. And you can type enter and it opens the, the page with the right things, uh, model and all. But if I want to be the best app, around there to do the thing I'm doing. It's a must to have. I filmed 10 minutes of video just explaining you what I've just designed in 10 minutes. I've, I don't know if it's a very efficient process, but I must show you something, an extension on VS Code that I just discovered thanks to the guy who is making the tutorial. I noticed that he had arrow shown just after the code he was writing, like in the editor, not in some bubbles that open up and all. Look at my position when I'm filming. <laughs> Yeah. So yeah, I was thinking about that and I was like, man, this should be the standard in everything. Like it should be the norm in VS Code to just show errors just after what you've just written. So I, I searched for that on VS Code extension marketplace and I found it. It's called error lens and it just gives you errors on the same line as your code. And it's so in incredibly cool. I, I want to demo it to you. Imagine I forgot to close the h1 tag. So I, I'm i like that and boom, it gives me everything that I should know about this error right here. This is great. I'm gonna use this all the time. I hope you enjoy this kind of videos where I get you in my way of thinking. I'm always doing this kind of thing in every project and I hope it could help you in yours. I'll see you around.